It's been over a year since his performances in Israel, and Australian musician Nick Cave of Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds is still being asked to defend his choice against the global BDS movement. When a fan asked on his Red Hand Files website that he thought about uh, Brian Eno, like what he thought about Brian Eno's stance on Israel, Cave responded by sharing his actual correspondence with Eno in the weeks before the concert. Now, I won't read the whole thing here, but Cave essentially explains that he believes music is meant to bring people together, and he also er argues that it would be far more effective as a means of protest if musicians came to Israel in spite of their feelings, as long as they made clear that their presence was for the fans only. I urge you all to check out the full letter at www.theredhandfiles.com. But joining me now with more is attorney, public diplomacy expert, and lecturer, Ran Bar Yoshafat. Ran, welcome. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Very happy to be here. It's, it's uh, my pleasure to have you once again. So, you know, let's just jump into this. You know, what, what are your initial thoughts about, uh, about Nick Cave's writing and, and how that reflects on BDS as a whole? Well, I have to say I would call him a big mensch. Um, I don't really agree with his politics. In case you don't know, uh, Nick Cave is very critical about the Israeli government. However, mm. basically what he's saying is that if you're not allowing a musician to perform because you disagree with a certain policy of a certain government, you're basically bullying the person. Um, he's not saying that he's supporting this policy or the other. He's wanting to give his music to the Israeli people. There's nothing wrong about that. Can you imagine if Syria would invite him, if Afghanistan would invite him, if any other country, they'll say, hey, that's a great opportunity to exactly what he said, to bring people closer together. Music and art in general is not supposed to be political in the sense, of course it's political in its message, it but it's, not, it, it's supposed to be political in its message, but it's sure. not supposed to say, well, I'm only serving a certain group of people. Furthermore, can you imagine if the Palestinian Authority would invite him and then the same, uh, you call it the BDS, they call it the movement to destroy Israel, how would they react if he was uh, invited to give a, 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 a performance in Ramallah? Okay, they would say, yeah, of course we're supportive of this. Uh, the Palestinian Authority sends uh, a person to a death sentence if he sells his house to a Jew. If he was invited to give a performance in Gaza, which is under Hamas, a terrorist organization, they would say, oh yeah, great, do that. So it's, li it's like they're singling out Israel uh, as the only democratic country in the world, in Israel, in the Middle East, and they're not allowing him to perform but, here. But okay, but to play devil's advocate, Israel has an anti-BDS law currently in place that bars people who support the BDS movement or who may support the BDS movement from even entering the country. So, taking Nick Cave's advice to come here despite their negative feelings about the government, would they even be allowed to? So we have to understand what does it mean, again, BDS, what I call the movement to destroy Israel. If you're saying I disagree with a certain policy, well, hey, guess what? You're in Israel. You're like any other Israeli who doesn't agree with the current government because every Israeli has a different opinion. It can be more right-wing, more left-wing. That's fine. You don't have a... Any certain Israeli, it's, I'm 100% in coherence with the government's saying. However, the people who are trying to uh, vilify Israel and saying Israel doesn't have any right to exist on any border, of course they should not be allowed to come here, just like any other country in the world. If a person is saying, I'm critical about a certain policy that you have in France, Ireland, Spain, that's one thing. To say, I don't want that country to exist, that's a whole different issue. And that's what the movement to destroy Israel, aka BDS movement, is saying. Which is why I appreciate what Kev is saying, just come here, play your music, and put politics aside. All right. Uh, with that, I think that's a good time to, to end it. Thank you so much for coming, Elon. Thank you very much.